Hello everyone, my name is Andrew, and today we're going to be discussing the N6 form. How to evict your tenant for illegal activity at your rental property. Now I want to start off by saying that the N6 is not going to be the most common form you're going to use as a landlord because it is for illegal activity and generally speaking we don't have tons of tenants who are all doing illegal things. This form as it is titled for illegal acts at the property means that there has to have been actual illegal activity which is proven. It can't be suspected. So if you think your tenant is doing something illegal you can't just serve this as form and hope to get an eviction. It's probably not going to fly. But I am going to give you some situational examples where it's more likely to be effective if you're actually able to substantiate your claim. Some examples of when we've used this form would be if somebody is selling drugs out of the property, stealing things and bringing it to the property, keeping it there. And then another example would be we've actually had it where somebody was having gambling games going on in the basement, inviting other friends over, and that is also illegal. But remember, you can't just serve them the N6 and evict them because you say it's illegal. Illegal means that they have to be charged for it. So you have to have a police report to go along with this, at least in our experience, for this to be effective. So the N6 form starts off like all the others do, where you're going to fill out your tenant's name, the landlord's name, you're going to fill out the rental address. Remember to have all the tenant's names who are living at the property and have the names on the lease agreement and fill out your name in full as well. Below that, you're going to have the next section here, which talks about the termination date. And this is going to be dependent on which reason you select, where reason one says that I believe that you or someone living in there with you has committed an illegal act or is carrying out an illegal act or business at the residential complex involving either the production of illegal drugs, trafficking illegal drugs, possession of illegal drugs. Reason two is going to be a little more general, where it says that you believe that someone has committed illegal act and is carrying some kind of illegal business. Business. And this goes into the broader sense where, like I said before, if somebody is having gambling games or somebody is bringing stolen material and selling it for the property, that is also going to fall under reason two. And reason three has to do with rent gear situations, which we're not going to talk about. So we're just going to scrap that, which now brings us back to the termination date where we're going to select this based off of reason one and two. If you're selecting reason one, the termination date can be at least 10 days after the landlord gives you this notice. Whereas if you're selecting reason two, it can be 20 days after you've given this notice. Now it does say here, and I haven't used it in this fashion before. For, but if this is the second notice that they're receiving for some kind of termination in the last six months, you can bring that 20 days all the way down to 14 days. So you may consider doing that. The next section that we have here is the details and reasons for this notice, where you're going to essentially have your dates, the times, and the details of the events that transpired. So let's say if it was for selling drugs and you have evidence to substantiate this, you're going to write that information in there. You're also going to hopefully line this up with any police reports or anything else that may have taken place. Then we're going to move to the last section, which is you're going to fill out your first name, your last name, phone number, sign it, date it, and there you you go, you're off to the races. But it's not over yet because now we have to file with the LTB if your tenant doesn't actually move out by that termination date. So we're going to file an L2 form with the landlord and tenant board. And this is where we need to make sure to select all the appropriate boxes that have to do with the N6 form and fill out any details below. But what I want to stress here is how important it is to submit your evidence that you need that is going to be clear and convincing, meaning they're not going to want to evict somebody based off of your suspicion. So whatever it is that you're providing as evidence has to make it so that it's clear to the adjudicator why the you need to terminate the tenancy. You're going to submit a police report, witnesses, any video footage, phone conversations, text messages, or anything else that you might have that you feel will bring certainty to the decision-making process when it goes to the LTB. So if you need any other help with your landlord tenant situation, click on the link below where we offer coaching and consultation services for Canadian real estate investors. Until then, see you in the next one.